Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for part two of the final season of The Walking Dead. I don't know how this is going to go because the first, uh, the first half, for part one, was extremely difficult to get public on uh, YouTube for you guys. Uh, I don't know what it is with AMC and other creators. They're having, I mean, they run into some issues because I've talked to a couple of them, but uh, no matter what I did, eventually, like one or two, most of the time, my videos would get blocked well after the fact, manually. This is not like YouTube's content ID thing. Like a week after it would be posted, it would be safe, it would be fine. Somebody at AMC would come to my video and just be like, and nope. <sighs> Appeal it, all that stuff, nothing would happen. And uh, I would just have to re-upload it again in a worse condition and uh, well after the fact anybody would even be watching it. It was just a real, really frustrating. So we'll see how this goes. We'll follow along because I do want to cover this. It's the final season. I've been following this since season one through all the hills and valleys. Uh, so I want to see through, see how it ends, but and share that experience with you guys. But it's the, they've been making it pretty difficult. Anyway, so we'll just kind of keep an eye out. But guys... We left off with a pretty dire situation. Alexandria is, their walls are coming down in the midst of this storm. And uh, Daryl and gang are at the Reaper's hideout fighting for their lives as Leah has just kind of taken over uh, Call of Duty Mario's job running the Reapers. You know, couldn't see eye to eye with Daryl and now they're just on opposite sides again. So let's uh, let's see where this thing goes, because I imagine we're just going to be picking up right where we left off. So guys, if you want to check out the full length reaction to this or any of the other episodes of this season, you can check those out over on Patreon. You also get access to the full length reaction watch alongs for all the shows we've been covering this year on the channel, as well as a bunch of movie watch alongs that are exclusively over there. At the beginning of each month, we actually take your suggestions and then vote on what movie we add to that list at the end of each month. But, of course, we also have monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage, try to make it worth your while since you are going out of your way to support the channel. But, of course, I know everybody can do that. A simple way you can support us, though, is just a like, a comment, a subscribe, maybe even a share. It really does help us out in the long run, though, with the YouTube algorithm, all jokes aside. But I really do appreciate you guys, and I'm excited to see where we go from here. So, guys, let's go ahead and hop into this. Here we go. All right. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Maggie! <laughs> oh, popped like a fucking balloon. I've got one on my tail. We lost ours. We need to take care of that bleeding. Let's go. You don't have a lot of time. This way. Oh, what the hell? God damn. Secret passages all over this place. I wonder if the Reapers even know about any of these uh, pathways. The leader slowed me and I'll get her. Just find her. Not one of them's getting out of here alive. I still want to know, like, the, the, the origin of this feud between these two groups. Because I don't... I, I still got this feeling that it's not exactly how... Maggie has described it based on her conversations with Negan. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. I'll go with you. We find the breach. And you take care of the windmill, okay? It's an emergency signal. Put out that fire, or we could lose everything. Go! 
<laughs> God damn, man. Oh. Daryl, da 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 Daryl. Ah. slide back there so fast. <laughs> oh. Yeah, keep keep your keep keep your eyes on Oh fuck. Oh, you can't tell me it would change its, like, focus when it had those two right there. Oh. Oh. Oh, that eyeball. Oh, man, that's... That's some good shit right there. Aaron, you're, you're not in a great position, my dude. It's far enough. Oh, it's the guy he spared. Worry about yourself first. Gotta stay your hand. It's like he did with the graves yesterday. He knew. Oh, path piece is hard. We can take the first steps together for both of our Take my hand. No one is unsafe. Strong. Hi. Yeah, I saw. I, I knew that was coming. I don't believe that. Oh. You've met you. You met Gabriel the wrong time in his life, man. Oops. Wrong turn. <laughs> Get fucked. Well, I gotta say thanks for this. God damn. Oh. Well, ding ding. <laughs> That could have been it real poorly. He wants us gone, but not more than saving our own family, especially this asshole. This could go wrong 800 different ways. Leah, it's me. We need to talk. <laughs> Use that window. Get to the cellar. We got this. Oh, f <laughs> fuck. They did not tie that gag very tight. Jensen? That was a warning! <sighs> Fuck. Stop. Jensen! Burnett. Pull the trigger! Show me. Uh, Jensen, what the hell? Oh, it's Gabriel! Not Jensen. No Jensen. Holy fuck! <laughs> 
me, Gabriel. Yeah, the two better back off of there next. Hey, dumb bitch. God. Fucking idiot. You save your family. I save mine. Yeah. No. <laughs> I'll see you soon. We're going empty handed too, man. No food. At least it doesn't seem like they're getting any. For Josephine. For all of them. Get up. Did he do something? Uh, nope. Oh. A second chance. We both could have. But you had to be a dumb, dumb, dummy, dumb. <sighs> and Maggie is a whole new person. <laughs> and, uh, oh, well, they got a shit ton of food. We got it. They got a horse, too, to help them load it all home. That worked out. Man, I really want to know what's going on in Negan's head right now. Oh, right. He's still is he still alive? Probably not. That sucks. It's just a matter of time before you make the same call. I'm gonna be on my own way. He's just leaving. Was he Negan? Did he catch up? He left. Hey, Reggie. I still hope that's not the last we see of Negan, man. But he's not, he's probably not wrong about what he said and why. But he took a higher road and just walked away rather than tried to kill Maggie, which is a little surprising. Or not, because he has been trying to do better while at the same time looking out for himself. So he has changed. Is that all food? You made a promise and you kept it. Yeah, just one. Yeah. <laughs> the storm, we had nothing left. Thank you. Uh oh. Commonwealth. Yeah. Hey! Got something coming! Uh, a f literal army. <laughs> These guys with you. Oh, okay. Not as many as I would have th I would have thought, but still. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. Set out on a journey. Okay. Probably best that I step aside so y'all can hear it from the horse's mouth, as it were. I give you Mr. Lance Ornsby, diplomatic representative of the Commonwealth. There's still something wrong going on over there, though. I gotta, I gotta thank you, man. I gotta. If you remain, we can provide labor and materials to help you build back all you've lost. However, 
If any are interested, I do have another, potentially more interesting choice. Moving into the Commonwealth. Oh, uh, what the fuck? Yeah, Maggie said, fuck that. Doesn't have to be this way. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, it does. What the fuck is that? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not watching that preview. Well, 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 that, that came. That's happening. Woo! All right. That was a really action-packed episode. And just Daryl being in the middle of that whole action-in-action action moment between the Reapers and Maggie and his own group and their group or whatever, and him just trying to keep the peace. Maggie's way too far gone for that at this point. Um, and we've been talking about that here and there in the previous videos about how she's, we haven't seen this new Maggie. We've still been thinking of her as the Maggie from before while those conversations between her and Negan, while she has remorse, she does, but she's been going down that path and you can see in their conversations that they're connecting an eye to eye in ways that Maggie just is kind of disgusted with herself that they are while still trying to hold on to who she used to be. But her fear of losing what she has and the people she has is keeping her from be going back to that Maggie. While Negan, still taking advantage of every moment he can, has still pushed in every way to help them, and even Maggie, with moving forward. In every possible way. Mostly for self-preservation, but we've seen that he does actually care about some of these people. And... Could he have tried to kill Maggie on multiple occasions? Could he probably have succeeded? Sure. And I think that in and of itself shows a growth. And But he knows, especially after what Maggie did at the end of this standoff between Leah and the group, he knows that, you know, that day, no matter what she says or what she promises, may still come for him. And he just doesn't want to be there for it but rather than just kill her and remove that obstacle outright you know he just walked away which already shows that Negan's kind of taken a higher road than he would have back in the day he probably he would have just hammered her into the ground if he had a chance um, and so many times he could have cut and run multiple times but he always came back for everybody um, I have no idea how everybody back in Alexandria managed to survive that night, <laughs> but they did. It was tense. It was brutal. It was seemingly hopeless, but thankfully the Commonwealth is here to help them pull things back together. But I, I have to imagine that everybody but Maggie and her group of people is going to go to the Commonwealth. We saw that cut at the end, that six month later jump with her back at Hilltop, the ruins of Hilltop, with the Commonwealth soldiers, with Daryl being one of them, knocking on the door. It didn't have to be like this. What the fuck happened? God damn it. Um, Gabriel, man, I'm telling you, he it doesn't matter anymore. He's got a completely different faith than what he used to. And it is what it is, man. He's just living in this cold, dark world and standing by his people. He believes in his group more than he believes in God at this point. Um, and I think that's been 100% evident in every choice. And I've seen people push back on me on this too in multiple ways. But like, it was like it's so clear that his faith He's got a, he has faith, but it is not 
in any higher power at this point whatsoever. Um, as much as part of him wants to hope that's possible or hope that's still there, he knows that it's gone beyond that at this point, and he doesn't care. He doesn't care. That's not true. He does care, but he's burying that in order to push forward and help him and his team, his people survive. Um, I'll stand by that until they show me otherwise. I didn't see any crisis of faith in here. I, I saw some like more, I don't know. I don't know if it was more jealousy or disgust with faith there when he was talking to that other minister, preacher dude. He was like, He's talking to you? He's telling you this is okay? Well, fuck you. Cacao! Yeah, man. He's like, if God wants that, I ain't have no part of it. That's that's the, that's the what I heard in that conversation. Um, But as we saw with the conversation between him and Daryl, there's still like part of him that has faith in something, and I think it is them. Their beliefs, their goals, their people. He has faith in that his family. I think that's where things have kind of transitioned. But this was a fun episode. This was intense. It was pretty much packed to the brim with action. Um, as we kind of called it, Alden didn't make it. But kind of was to be expected, I guess. Um, Maggie, though, brutal. Hardcore, man. And Daryl being the voice of reason... Especially because he went down this path as well. We've seen pretty much all of our, our main characters go down this path of just no remorse. You know, Daryl did it for a hot minute after he came back from being uh, Negan's prisoner for a while. Rick was the level head, uh, and he was going off being the savage one. Uh, we've seen Carol go through that. Now Maggie, it's Maggie's turn. We've seen Rick go through it. Everybody's been through the, the no mercy phase. Uh, so... I guess it's just Maggie's turn now. Yeah, so it is what it is, man. But I'm curious to see how this whole thing unfolds because there's just something off about the Commonwealth, something looming in the background that we have not quite seen yet. Um, and I, I'm really curious what it is. Uh, I, so I assume this will be the focus. Where the Reapers and was the main focus of part one, Part two, more than likely, is going to be focusing on whatever this is. Part three, I have no idea where that's going to go. Maybe an extension of the Commonwealth. Maybe it rises into something else. Maybe it'll be something completely different. Don't know. But guys, what do you think of our return to The Walking Dead? Sound off the comments. Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join our Discord. We can talk about it there as well. If you want to see the full-length reaction to all these episodes, you can check them out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. Speaking of, before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Mandy Share, Ryan, Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori, Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Nate Prouty, Emo Slytherin, and Melita. Thank you guys so much for your support. And everybody else who's been tuning in and supporting the Patreon and just supporting the channel in general, thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next week with the next episode of The Walking Dead. Take care, everybody.